My name is Maxim Schreier. I'm originally from Moscow, Russia, and I've been living here in America for 24 years. At the moment, I'm sitting in the backyard of my house in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my new collection of short stories, Yom Kippur, in Amsterdam, and the Russian title would be Sudny Dien v Amsterdam. As I worked on the stories in this new collection, I kept asking myself this question. Why is it that Jews from the former Soviet Union and their children have been so incredibly successful professionally in the new world? Think, for instance, of the inventor of Google. It doesn't really get much better. And yet, at the same time, they have not been fully integrated or acculturated, either as Jews or as Americans. There is humor and tenderness in my stories, but there is also heartbreak and nostalgia. There are boundaries of ethnicity, tradition, culture, and religion that my characters desperately try to cross, yet often fail to do so. For instance, in the title story, Yom Kippur in Amsterdam, you will meet Jacob Glass. He used to be Yasha Glasman in his old life in his former Soviet Union. He's engaged to a Catholic woman. Realizing that she will not convert, he breaks up with her and travels to Amsterdam. In his words, a beautiful place for a Jew to atone. The book offers a collective portrait of Jews from the former Soviet Union living in America and struggling with the ghosts of their Soviet past. As uh, I wrote the book, I wanted to get to the bottom of what it must feel like to be constantly wrestling with this mix of professional pride, insecurity, success and cultural loneliness that defines the lives of so many of us Jews from the former Soviet Union. I hope you like the book and I look forward to talking to you about it.